let's talk for a second. I know I've gotten some requests about showing scriptures on um, what it means um, to eat in your dreams. And I've been asking the Holy Spirit, like, Holy Spirit, what does it mean? And where can I show this, that in scriptures? Because honestly, there are scriptures, but they're speckled throughout the Bible. So it would take such a long time to explain that concept. And TikTok only gives me three minutes. So that would require like a 15 minute video, which is why I've been, I have not posted it yet. But listen, so I posted um, a list of benefits for Holy Communion. And when I posted that, I was thinking about Holy Communion. Like I was just thinking about being able to fellowship with Christ and, you know, being able to fellowship with God and how beautiful it is that we have that opportunity to whenever, whenever we can just fellowship with Him and just appreciate the blood that cleanses us, that purifies us, that gives us life, right? And the new covenant that is life-giving. Like I was just thinking about the goodness of God. While I was thinking about that, I got a revelation on something. Listen, when we partake in the body of Christ and we partake in the, in the juice or the water that represents the blood of Jesus Christ, right? We are literally eating in a spiritual realm because every action you do and every word you do is a covenant. We are renewing the covenant with Christ. And then we are in the spiritual realm. We are eating the body of Christ. We are drinking the blood of Jesus, which gives us human, which gives us our mortal, our mortal body, this body, strength, healing, um, faith is boosted, right? The opposite is true. When you eat in your dreams, the opposite is true. When we take Holy Communion, it is intentional. We are asking God, commune with me, here I am. Let me take the body of Christ, let me drink the blood of Christ. But in the dream, sometimes when you're not spiritually strong, you have not been feeding your human spirit, the word of God, fasting, praying, you are a bit weak in, the, in your spirit, you're weak. You might take the food they offer you, but listen, listen, that food has been offered to idols. You are eating the exact opposite of the Holy Communion. You are eating the body of the devil. Did you catch that? You are eating the body of the devil and you're drinking his blood, which is why you end up with things such as sicknesses, diseases, being initiated into witch covens, just having everything go wrong in your life.